Teacher Ada of Teacher Ada's Learning Center. And today, we're going to study our Math Unit 4. So, we'll pray first and then we are going to go to our recap of our lessons. And now, let's pray. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you. Bless our school, our parents, and guardians, and children. This we ask in your mighty name, and everybody say, Amen. Yay! Hello, class. We are going to sing a song today. The title of the song is Two Little Black Birds. So let me sing it for you. Two little black birds sitting on a tree. One is Jack and the other is Jill. Fly away, Jack, and fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, and come back, Jill. Let's make it fast. Two little black birds sitting on a tree. One is Jack and the other is Jill. Fly away, Jack, and fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, and come back, Jill. Yay! And now let's recap our lessons. We finished the groupings. We finished also the similar. We were done with the shape objects that does not belong to the group. We were working with the shapes. So now we are going to our main lesson. The overview of our main lesson for today. Counting from 1 to 5 with an object. Reciting about numbers. Connecting the same numbers. Numbers that is different from the others. Connect the same numbers with the line. And counting butterflies in the garden and the last one will be a song of five little dogs our main lesson for today is counting numbers from one to five now we have five seekers let's count them one by one one, two, three, four, five. How many circles do we have? Five circles. Now let's have five girls. One, two, three, four, five. How many girls do we have? Five girls. Oh, let's go to the boys. We have five boys let's count them one by one let's start counting one two three four five how many boys do we have we have five boys now we have finished our counting from one to five Again, we are going to recite a poem now. And the title of the poem is Mother Cat and the Five Kittens. Once there was a mother gray purring who had five kittens mewing. One was black and one was white. And the other was black and white. Then came along Gray, who was cold and hungry. The last to come was Combi, the cat with black and white and gray. These are the five kittens of the purring mummy. Kids, 
Today we're gonna have our activity. It is about connecting numbers to the same numbers. And the first column is one, two, three, four, five. And the second column is five, four, three, two, one. So we can connect the number to the same number. Okay, let's start from one. Where are we gonna connect it? To number one. Number two, we're going to connect it to number two. Number three, we're going to connect it to number three. And number four, where are we going to connect it? Of course, to number four. And number five, we are going to connect it to number five, which is at the top. So we finish connecting our numbers. Yay! Hi kids again, we go now to our next activity. It's just the same, we're connecting numbers to the same numbers. The first column is 3, 2, 5, 1, 4. And the second column is 4, 1, 5, 3, 2. Now let's connect the numbers to the same number as well. We connect 3, 2, number 3. Number two, we connect it down because number two is down. Five, where are we going to connect it? Of course, to number five. One, we connect one to number one. And number four, where are we going to connect number four? We connect number four up because number four is at the top. We finish connecting our numbers. And now kids, let's go to another activity. This is about encircling the number that is different from the others. We have five rows here. So we're going to start on the first row. We are going to circle the number that is different from the other. So we will start from number one, number one, number one, number one, number four. What is the number that is different from number one? Oh, it is number four. What are we going to do with number four? We are going to encircle number four because it is different from the others, which is number one. Now we go to the second row. Number three, number three, number three, number three, number three and number two. What is the number that is different from number three? What is number two? So what are we going to do with number two now? Because it is different from number three. We can circle it because number two is different from the other numbers. Now let's go to the third row. The third row is number four, number four, number five, number four, number four. What is the number that is different from the others? Number five is different from number four. What are we going to do with number five again? We are going to circle because it is different from number four. Now the fourth row is number five, number five, number five, number four, number five. What is the number that is different from number five? Oh, it's number four. What are we going to do now with number four? We are going to circle it because it is different from number five. And the fifth row is number one, number two, number two, number two, number two. What is the number that is different from number two? Oh, it is number one. So we're going to circle number one because it is different from number two. So we finished it now. Is it amazing? Oh, you know, you know your numbers now from one to five. Hi, can kids. Do you want to count the butterflies? Okay, let's count the butterflies of different colors. Now let's count it. One, two, 
three, four, five. How many butterflies have you seen? Oh, it's five. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. We have five butterflies. And now kids, do you want to see birds perching on the tree? Now we are going to see five birds perching on the tree. Okay, let's count them one by one. One, two, three, four, five. All five birds perching on the tree. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four. Birds perching on the tree. So amazing and beautiful. So we finished our counting from one to five. Yay! Now, kids, we have another activity for practicing your number one, two, three, four, and five. This time we have five rows of shapes. And the first row are square, one, two, three, four, five. You are going to color number one. So if you find number one in any position, color it green. Now the next row are circle. Let's count the circle. One, two, three, four, five. Now you may color your two circles. Color them blue. And now we are going to go to the next shape. They are a triangle. Let's count the triangle. One, two, three, four, five. Now color your three triangles in any position. Color them yellow. Now let's go to another shape. We are rectangle. Let's count the rectangle. One, two, three, four, five. Now color four rectangles. Color them orange in any position. Are you finished coloring your four rectangle? Only four rectangles. Now let's go to the last shape. And they are hard. This time you are going to color them all. And color them red. So we finished coloring our shapes from one, two, three, four, and five. Yay! Hello, kids! Again, this time we're gonna sing the story of the five dogs. Do you want to hear it? This is a kind of story, but I'm going to sing it for you. I'll start, start this way. Number one dog went to market. Number two dog stayed at home. Number three dog had roast. Yummy, yummy roast. Number four dog had none. Number five dog cried. All the way home. Number one dog went to market. Number two dog stayed at home. Number three dog had roast. Yummy, yummy roast. Number four dog had none. Number five dog cried all the way home. All the way home. These are all for now, kids. Hope you enjoy our math for today. And thank you for all the moms and dads who have followed and my Facebook account. And to those who haven't subscribed in my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And now we're done with our math unit 4. Till next time, see you then. And bye-bye.